and the allies of Elus, who is Kronos, were surnamed Elom, as these same, who were surnamed after Kronos, would have been called Cronii. And Kronos, having a son Satidus, dispatched him with his own sword, because he regarded him with suspicion and deprived him of life, thus becoming the murderer of his son. In like manner he cut off the head of a daughter of his own, so that all the gods were dismayed at the disposition of Kronos. But as time went on Uranus, being in banishment, secretly sent his maiden daughter Astarte with two others, her sisters, Ehi and Dion, to slay Kronos by craft. But Kronos caught them, and though they were his sisters, made them his wedded wives. And when Uranus knew it, he sent Imarmine and Aura with other allies on an expedition against Kronos. And these Kronos won over to his side and kept with him. Further, he says, the god Uranus devised the Beatilia, having contrived to put life into stones. And to Kronos there were born of Astarte seven daughters, Titanides or Artemides. And again to the same there were born of Rhea seven sons, of whom the youngest was deified at his birth, and of Dion females. And of Astarte again two males, Desire and Love. And Dagon, after he discovered corn in the plow, was called Zeus or Otrios. And one of the Titanides united to Suduk, who is named the Just, gives birth to Asclepius. In Perea also there were born to Kronos three sons, Kronos of the same name with his father, and Zeus Belus, and Apollo. In their time are born Pontus, and Typhon, and Nereus father of Pontus and son of Belus. And from Pontus is born Sidon, who from the exceeding sweetness of her voice was the first to invent musical song, and Poseidon. And to Demerus is born Melchithris, who is also called Hercules. Then again Uranus makes war against Pontus, and after revolting attaches himself to Demerus, and Demerus attacks Pontus, but Pontus puts him to flight, and Demerus vows an offering if he should escape. And in the thirty-second year of his power and kingdom Elus, that is Kronos, having waylaid his father Uranus in an inland spot, and got him into his hands, emasculates him near some fountains and rivers. There Uranus was deified, and as he breathed his last, the blood from his wounds dropped into the fountains and into the waters of the rivers, and the spot is pointed out to this day. This, then, is the story of Kronos, and such are the glories of the mode of life, so vaunted among the Greeks, of men in the days of Kronos, whom they also affirm to have been the first and golden race of articulate speaking men, that blessed happiness of the olden time. Again, the historian adds to this, after other matters, but Astarte, the greatest goddess, and Zeus Demerus, and Adidas king of gods, reigned over the country with the consent of Kronos. And Astarte set the head of a bull upon her own head as a mark of royalty. And in traveling round the world she found a star that had fallen from the sky, which she took up and consecrated in the holy island Tyre. And the Phoenicians say that Astarte is Aphrodite. Kronos also, in going round the world, gives the kingdom of Attica to his own daughter Athena. But on the occurrence of a pestilence and mortality Kronos offers his only begotten son as a whole burnt offering to his father Uranus, and circumcises himself, compelling his allies also to do the same. And not long after another of his sons by Rhea, named Muth, having died, he deifies him, and the Phoenicians call him Thanatos and Pluto. And after this Kronos gives the city Byblos to the goddess Baltus, who is also called Dion, and Baritus to Poseidon and to the Kiberi and Agrodi and Helias, who also consecrated the remains of Pontus at Baritus.